Hello everybody and welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green. My name is Kearney K. Karen B and when we last left off, I think I lost basically half my team. Um, I lost Hitmonchan. I lost... Who did Cthulhu replace? Uh, Cthulhu probably replaced one of my fire types. Like, I, I, <laughs> my team is basically just Sakura and Terry. <laughs> They're the only ones who have survived. Sabrina I got recently, Furby I got fairly recently. Uh, yes, uh, basically my entire plan is Sakura and Terry. <laughs> and Furby's, uh, Furby's up there because uh, Furby was so good against the poison type gym. But yeah, I if I lose one of them, I'm going to cry. Which, now that I've said that, it's probably going to happen. But anyway, um, now we need to train up Jeremok. And we're kind of training up Cthulhu as well. Although, to be fair, I'd kind of like to trade him in. Y Gyarados is a fantastic Pokemon. Uh, one of the best in the game. But I already have a water type. So I don't really need him. Um, yeah. So that is about it. Does Jeremoch not fly? He does. Huh. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to question it. Anyway, we're outside uh, Silphco, I believe. Yep. So, let's go in. Last time we were here, um, I found the key. Uh, thanks to my big brain know-how knowledge. And now I'm literally, in order to train up Jeremok, I am literally just going to go across every single floor and fight every single trainer I find. I'm not going to warp or anything like that. Not until I have to. I'm just going to kill everybody. That's basically my plan right now. Just kill everybody, go into all of the rooms, sniff all the potted plants, and eventually find Giovanni and kick crap out of him. Because he killed my Hitmonchan. I'm never gonna forgive him for that. Uh, oh. Huh. I thought that the... I thought... Well, I guess I was wrong. Never mind. Okay, so, uh, I definitely want to get rid of Jeremok for several reasons, but I'm very worried about explosion, so let's trade in Sakura. Okay, well, that works. Dig. Dig, dig, dig. Tackle and death. Beautiful. Definitely don't want to mess around with a Geodude. And I don't particularly want Jeremok to get poisoned either. Uh, he has Levitate, I believe, so let's just Body Slam him. That should do enough. After two more, come on. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. That's some good experience for Jeremok there, for, from an Electrode. Love to see it. And I don't think that there's anybody else here. Uh, what about top left? Just bad. Okay. Now, my problem is that I don't actually remember how to get to Giovanni. I know for a fact that you have to... Um, I know for a fact that you have to warp in order to get there. But I don't remember which pads you use or anything like that. So... And I have no idea what the hell I'm picking up here. <laughs> um... Oh. Uh, so yeah... I have no idea how to do that, so I'll have to go on a I'll have to go on an adventure eventually. But for now, we will be fine. Cause there is a lot of trainers in here. A lot of trainers. Hmm. Why did, why did he screech when he's probably just gonna Sonic Boom anyway? Seems a little pointless. Sonic Boom always does twenty damage, I believe. Or is it forty? I think it's twenty. Yeah, it's uh, not not very good. <laughs> Needless to say, did I? I did. Uh, but but hello, nope. Hello, nope. Wait, this place really is huge. That guy's still on speed. Wonderful. He hasn't kicked his habit just yet. You should probably get around to that. It's not good for you. Hello. Fight me! Wow, everybody's actually high high twenties. I thought they were low twenties. All right, that just means more experience for Jeremok. Um, 
Do, 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 do. I suppose I'll throw in Cthulhu. Yeah. To deal with this matchup. Why not? Intimidate will do a lot of work as well. And we shall... The Surf has stab, but Cthulhu is more of a normal attacker. I'm going to say Surf is probably better. Hmm. Yeah, not bad. And I'll just do that, just to even the PP out. Ooh, try attack Tri attack is actually pretty good, if I remember rightly. Yeah, 80. Nice. Very nice. Um, You can get rid of Growl, methinks. Although, to be honest, I'm going to want to get rid of all of his attacks except Fly, so... Um, I'm not going to trade in Jeremok. Machoke will just one-shot him, so... Let's try Strength here. Maybe Strength is uh, stronger than Surf. Uh, for Cthulhu, specifically. Interesting. Hello. Nope. Hello. Nope. I don't think any of these have anything to say to me or give to me or anything, but I'll just do it anyway. Just because I'm like that. I like bothering people. I mean, it's the reason I stream, after all. I'm trying to bother the world. Or is that bugger the world? I can never tell. I can never remember. All right, let's. Ooh, that's just, yeah, that's not great. No, let's let's not do that. Like I said, Cthulhu is a regular attacker, is a normal attacker. So, uh, confusion is scary, and we shall body slam. I should do it. Yep. Beautiful. Um, I think I will put in Jeremok. I'll switch trade him. Mostly because confusion. So now I just get rid of Jeremok. And I could go to, go to Cthulhu, but his health is getting fairly low. So uh, I think I'll just go to Sabrina again. That'll be good. And body slam. And you're dead. Goodbye. Gold bats. Mm. Go on then. Okay, he didn't confuse, but bites that bite did uh, did an okay amount of damage in my estimation. Not good, is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, ooh, he survived. Good job, you. Stop hitting my Sabrina. It's very, it's very irritating. Uh, no, I do need to heal. Up, 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 uh, where are my heals? 194 antidotes. Um, <laughs> uh, I am. Um, am I missing? Well, I have a lot of lemonades, I guess. But I just, I guess, I never bothered to buy super potions. Huh. I, I do have uh, hyper potions down there. Huh. All right. Well, lemonades, lemonades will do. Most certainly. Do you two and uh sure, let's give uh let's give Jeremok one of them. Just to make sure nothing untoward happens. I believe uh pursuit does work in this game, so that's not to be discounted. And once again we are going to worry about explosion. Just in case. Oh shit. I hate explosion and I hate self-destruct. Now, Jeremok, you can... You can... You're not going to die to this. I mean, coughing can explode as well. I am very aware of that, but... I, honestly, I don't think it's as likely as Voltorb. I don't know, maybe that's just my own personal bias. But... Voltorb... It seems like Voltorb has uh, explode or self-destruct more often than coughing does. Magneton. Does Magneton have levity in this game? I'm pretty sure it does. Uh, well, double kick will do fine. Yep, there you go. Magnemite. Um, uh, does Magnemite have explosion? I don't actually know. Uh, well, actually, that was a stupid idea because it's an electric type. <laughs> Jeremiah could have very easily died there. Uh, so I'm lucky. 
I'm not gonna send in uh, Sabrina either. Uh, yeah, just body slammer. Ooh, paralyzed. Not the best way of uh, getting rid of a Magnemite, but it'll do. And you just body slap. Goodbye. Noise. Sleep talk. What is that? What is sleep the user randomly uses one of the moves it knows? Huh. That's interesting. Huh. So is that better than snore then? Because then it can randomly body slap. Or yawn or rest. Any of which is good. That's probably better than snore, isn't it? Has to be. Oh yeah, by the way, why the hell am I uh why the hell am I healing Sabrina? Why don't I just rest Sabrina? Boy. Uh yeah, okay, sure. Let's get rid of snore and we'll have uh, sleep talk instead. Man, I've never used any of these moves before at all. Not a one. I, ne I never used uh I, I never used Snorlax at all. Actually, I think it's just normal types in general. I probably talked about that before, but I'm a very boring person. But I just never really use normal types. Never in my life, ever. Except for when I force myself to do it. That's how I found out that uh, Raticate's actually really, really strong. And he does a ridiculous amount of damage. I do still have Raticate in my box, actually, now that I think about it. Rage. Uh, just FYI, right? Rage sucks. Never use Rage. If your choice is Rage or do nothing, you may as well just do nothing. Uh, hey, Raticate. We were just talking about you. And how you suck. Uh, let's send in Terry. Terry's actually starting to fall behind a little bit. We can't have that now, can we? Uh, um, yeah, we'll send in Jeremok. Get just a wee dram of XP from that. Uh, we do need, we, we do want to get Cthulhu down though. Or get Cthulhu up, even though I do want to train up Terry. I also want to train Cthulhu. No, that's, yeah, that's not what I'm going to put in Jeremok on, especially since... He's already weakened. Okay, screw it. Yeah, I was thinking about uh, like one hyper fang and Jeremux down, so. Um he's up here half health again. Okay, I'm just not gonna trade in Jeremok anymore. I'm just going to Ah, so uh you found the other guy's speed stash. <laughs> Wonderful. I like how this guy was just watching him as well. <laughs> like, hey, um, you doing okay there, Dave? You doing okay? Uh, don't mind me. Nah, I need to fight you. Sorry. I was going to leave your Pokemon alive, but then I decided that I wasn't going to leave your Pokemon alive. Sorry about that. And dig. I'm really just waiting for one of these electrodes to just explode while Sakura's underground. And it's going to be hysterical. I'm certain of it. Uh, okay. And that is the left hand side of the room done. Now, she, now we shall do the right. I don't know why you. <laughs> it's the second time today I talked in a German accent out of nowhere. I don't know why. Not a clue. I'm not even playing any games based in Germany or with German characters right now. I was very recently, though. I, was, I played a game called, uh, on my own time, called Partisans. It's a really, really fun game. Really fun, but the characters in it really, really bland. And the story isn't great. But, the, but mechanically, it's fantastic. It's a real-time tactics game. Where you take over a where you take over uh, a squad of uh, a squad of partisans, which 
I think... Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. But I think they're like... I think you can best describe them as... Um, like saboteurs behind enemy lines. Uh, it was on the eastern front of World War II. It was really, really fun. Really, really good. But again, kind of lacking in... Okay, now this is actually... Uh, I was going to say this is actually a good time to test strength versus... Surf, but then you got poisoned. Yeah, let's let 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 let's let's just not. let's just let's just not. You know, we don't have to. I'm the master of my own destiny. So yeah, um, uh, I'm trying to do two things at once, and it's not working out. It's not working very well for one of them. I mean, I'm playing all right. I think. There you go. I was alright leaving uh, Terry in, even though he's confused, because he has low attack. Well, he has decent attack. Not great, but decent. Um, but he has really, really high defense, so it doesn't matter. Oh, almost forgot. I'll use one of my 194 antidotes. <laughs> Why did I even do that? <laughs> uh, da -da. Yeah, I'll give that to Cthulhu. And... Terry! Good old Terry. Nope. Yeah, Partisans was really fun. Um, I, it's now gotten me on this real-time tactics uh, thing. Did I explain what real-time tactics was? It's when... It's basically um, XCOM. Uh, where you command your soldiers to do certain things, and then they go do them, and they kill stuff. But um, it happens in real time. But the way that I like to play it, and apparently it's not all real-time tactics games have this, is you is um you're able to pause it. So it's basically kind of pseudo. Um, it's kind of pseudo turn based. And you get to, uh, and you get to, why did that? Okay, I'm just gonna rest now. So, it's basically pseudo turn based and, um, really, really fun. It, I feel like, uh, it's a very good one for, oh, you can't rest while you're resting? Oh, that sucks. Huh. Okay, I, I was kind of hoping that you could, but oh well. Yeah. That kind of got me onto a uh, real-time tactics trip right now, because now I'm playing another game, which is um, Desperados 3. That, now that's a really, really good game. It's, it's actually kind of the opposite of Partizans in a way. Desperados, as you can probably tell by the name, is a... I probably shouldn't have done that because of Minimize. Eh, it didn't matter. Um, It's a Wild West kind of game. And once again, you take over the ro role of a uh, squad leader. Of a group of cowboys and outlaws. And that is also really, really good. Uh, But it's funny how it's different from... Partisans, because where Partisans characters are, they're decent, but they're not amazing. They get some character development, but I don't think anybody ever learns a lesson or anything. Uh, but where that's the case for them, for Partisans, the combat is really, really solid. Like, not the com, yeah, yeah, kind of the combat. But these games are both kind of strategy-based games, where you're... What's the point of that door? What? Is there some secret in here or something? I don't know. Um. So they're both kind of tactics space. Have I been here? Why aren't you? Oh, hello. Uh, what floor is this? 
I should try and remember that, but whatever. Um, I'm saying um a lot as well. It's uh, to be fair, it's been a couple of days since I last streamed, so I'm kind of out of the loop, as they say. This may not be the. Did Drezzy just buff his attack? Does Drezzy even know any physical moves? No way. <laughs> I did not need the crit there, just to be clear. <laughs> I really didn't. Oh, uh, I didn't mean to tackle there either. Oh, come on. Stop poisoning my dudes. Oh, come on. Tackle them. There you go. Go away. Uh, I... No, I don't want to. We will send in Tere. And uh, Surf will do. So the wrote, um Desperados 3 and... Oh, I almost made a mistake. Desperados 3 and... Oh yeah, I have these as well. Partisans. They are both... Sorry, hang on. Where is it? Where? There? Oh, there it is. Jeez, I should just look for the... Wait, why did I even do that? Eh, go away. I don't actually I'm thinking about it, I probably shouldn't use this very often. That's very abusable. And this is supposed to be a nuzlocke of some kind. <laughs> so, well, that's of some kind. This is a nuzlocke. So, I probably should avoid that. Um, They're both uh, stealth-based games. But the great thing about Partisans is that you can do it stealthy for a very long time and just kind of pick around the edges but if but eventually by your own choice you can choose to then go loud and you can really and y your team has like machine guns smgs shotguns rifles all that stuff so you can do a lot why did I bring up Terry for this? Oh, whatever, Bite. Really? Why is Bite not... Is Bite not effective against Steel? I thought it was. How does Water do? Just fine. You can basically just decide when you want to do a fight, and you can do that, and the game kind of... Um, it doesn't expect you to do it. Well, it doesn't really even force you to do it. But it doesn't force you to do it at all. But there's just times when you just want to go, ah, screw it. I'm gonna I'm just gonna kill you all. I'm just gonna kill you all in blood and guts. And it's really, really cool. It mechanically Ooh, that hurt. Uh mechanically it is very, very good. It is super sound. But it's the story and the characters that it's lacking. And that is where Desperado shines. The story and characters are really, really good. Everybody uh, gets like moments of like learning and all that stuff. The main character, in quotation marks, main character, honestly, any of the five team members are a main character in their own right. But the main, main character. Um, is this... Am I getting up to the rival fight now? No, I, I do need to warp there, don't I? I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, what level is this? 25? Okay. I was sending Cthulhu. Um, but the main main character is a complete asshole. <laughs> like, he literally shoots his best friend in the arm. <laughs> because his best friend disagreed with him. I, I, that's not even a... That's not even a joke. But, but like, he... It's understandable. You you can see in his you can see from his perspective why he did and why he was frustrated and all that stuff. It's really 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 good, but mechanically it's kind of weird. Cause like I mentioned that, um, turn based or uh, real time tactics games they're like they're real time but they're pausable and all that stuff. When you pause the game in Partisans. Um, you're 
you're obviously in both. You're able to give them commands and stuff like that. But the great thing about partisans over uh, desperados is that in partisans, you can... Hang on a sec. I'm just trying to remember if what I'm about to say is th true or not. I think it's true. It's been about a week or so since I last played Partisans, if I'm being honest. Um. Well, anyway. Uh, uh, what I'm hesitant to say is... Uh, actually, hang on. Is this... Is this a rival fight? Is this the rival fight? No, I remember looking at the rival fight and thinking, yeah, I've got this. There ain't much you can do against me. Um... I have Furby for his Venusaur. I know that for a fact. Oh, I don't have anybody for his Gyarados anymore. Actually, yeah, no. Sorry, let me, uh, let me look it up again. Real quick. So, um, Pokemon Leaf Green Rival. I'm, I don't remember. Do I need to? Oh no, it's not this one that I like. It is this one? Um, sure. Rival Fievel. And I chose Squirtle. Good. Fifth Battle Pokemon. What? I thought the fifth battle was still. Apparently, it's technically Pokemon Terra. Okay, sixth battle then. Sure. Um. Okay, so he ha he does have a Venusaur. He has a Growlithe, which. Yeah, pretty much everybody on my team except for Jeremuk and Furby can deal with easily. Uh, level thirty-five, uh, thirty-eight and forty. Okay. Alakazam. Um, I'm gonna need Sabrina for him. Pidgeots. Pidgeots only level 37, so it's not that big of a deal. The real problem is Gyarados. I don't really have a way to fight him, except... Um, he doesn't actually have great moves. Which one's Dragon Rage again? Is that the one that always does 40 damage? Accuracy 100, PP 10, effects... Da, da. No, I need to go into the thing. Uh, yeah, it will always inflict 40 HP. So, I guess the best thing I can do is just send in Sabrina, since she is the chunkiest of the chunky boys. And I have a pretty chunky team, let's be honest. Uh, yeah, Sabrina can take out Gyarados and Alakazam. Uh, Terry can take out Growlithe. Furby can take out Venusaur. Furby will absolutely decimate Venusaur. I don't think Venusaur can actually do anything to Furby. It's only Pidgeots, then. And, like, the question is, I want Sabrina out for three of these three of his Pokemon. So do I start off with Sabrina? In which case... Well, to be fair, his Pidgeot might just Whirlwind. That's entirely a possibility. Maybe I should get rid of Jeremok for this fight. That might be a decent idea, actually. Um, Just in case Pidgeot Whirlwinds and stuff like that, then I have something that I can sack. Hmm... Nah, nah, I don't I don't want I don't want to do it because I want the experience. I really do. Okay. So I think I more or less have a plan, except for Pidgeot, but Pidgeot's the most important one because I need to start off with someone. Who am I gonna start off with then? Um well, it's not going to be Furby. He's too important for Venusaur. Sakura? I could do Sakura. 
I mean, Sakura can go against Growlithe. Um, actually, that's it. Just Growlithe. But she's not bad against Pidgeot, at the very least. I mean, Body Slam's the only thing that will really do much against her. Against it. Yeah. Well, hey, Body Slam. <laughs> it's, it's not a bad move. <laughs> it's really not a bad move. Okay. Um, let me switch. Let me switch those two. Uh, let me very quickly. I don't think I have a regular potion, do I? Nah. Where is my fresh water? Okay, let's heal up you. Oh, right. Yes, that's true, actually. I want to have Jeremuk in first for that experience. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right, that's my plan. Um, oh, didn't mean to do that. Okay, I'll, I'll put in Jeremuk first. Trade up for Sakura. Maybe Pidgeot will just whirlwind, but... We'll see what and what ends up happening then. If we if it worlds in if it whirlwinds into Terry. I mean if it worlds into whirlwinds into Terry, it might just whirlwind again because Terry's slow. In fact, most of my team is slow. In fact, hang on a sec. Please tell me Jeremuk isn't the fastest on my team. Oh, didn't mean to it. Uh 42, 63, 89, 85, 74. <laughs> Sabrina speed 32. Uh, why isn't that just zero? It would be more accurate. Um, 89. Okay. 89, 85. Not too bad. I'm actually surprised that, um, even with the level advantage, I'm surprised Terry is faster than Cthulhu. That's actually a real surprise to me. But okay. Um... So, to take out Growlithe, Terry, and I'll leave Cthulhu. I'll leave Cthulhu at the back for the fight. Um, yeah, he, he's just a little bit low level. And that and uh, Growlithe's takedown might do a little bit more than I would like. Okay. Okay, I have my plan. Let's uh, continue on. Oh, this isn't actually this isn't actually the fight. Well, I have my plan nailed down anyway, so it's fine. Now you see that's the pad I need to go to, and down that corridor, that's a rival. Wait, oh, this is this is the top floor? Oh, huh. really? Already? Um, okay. All right, then now I. Guess what I need to do is find the way forward. Um, actually, the second floor. So, uh, let me just double check. I can never remember. I once got stuck in an elevator because I couldn't remember uh, which is the first floor and which is the ground floor. Eight. Okay. I'm just gonna randomly go into these, I think. Second. Uh, eventually I'll get bored and look at the map. Let's be real here. I ain't gonna be here all day. Just until I get bored. Um, tenth floor, fourth floor. Wait. Oh yeah, that's that one. Okay. This. The fourth floor. Okay. And I think I did do that. Uh, 11th floor. Um, okay. I don't think it's anything on the 10th. Go here. 9th. Screw it. Let's do it this way. Uh, we... If it just leads somewhere new. Actually, since the next fight is probably the rival fight, then I should probably heal up. Make sure everybody's uh, squeaky clean. Third. Okay. So it's not the 10th, it's not the 9th. I think it's around the 5th or the 6th, but I'm, I'm not going to do those kind of shortcuts. Since I decided I'll do it this way rather than just randomly going through the 
through the te teleporters. They may as well do it properly. Oh, wow, there's a lot of ads in here. Okay. Second floor. Eighth floor. Wait. Huh. That is the most useless set of pads ever. Okay. Fair enough. And this second floor. Okay. I mean, here's the thing about uh, this kind of way of doing it. You basically only need to do like half the floors. <laughs> really? Because the other half probably links up with the ones in the lower half. Although, yeah, no, nah, that, that's not really true either. Could just go from like 9th to 8th. Uh, to seven, to six. Oh, hey, look. Arri arrival. It's arrival. Alright. That's what I'm looking for. Oh. Uh. Anything around here? Oh, there is one there. Okay. Second... Um. Okay, nothing in there. So fifth, seventh, fifth floor, ladies' undergarments. Who uses the word undergarments anymore? Me, because I'm just that weird. Actually, hang on a sec. Hang on, go back here. Yeah, okay. I just need to make sure that it's is actually leading to somewhere I've been before. Rather than somewhere new. I know for a fact that, that isn't the one. Third floor. Yep. Good. Um well let's make sure. Yeah, there you go. It needed to be done. What about this one? Did I? Yeah, I did. Alright. Uh nope, wrong way. <laughs> Have it. Always go up. Always go up. Up is the way forward. Except if you're climbing a mountain probably. Uh tenth floor. Du -du -du. Um alright. And Six. Then. Alright. Is it really on the third floor? Oh. Well, this is somewhere new. Yes. Thunderwave. Huh. Um, sure. I mean, he currently has tackle, so... Yeah. Sure. Yeah, go for it. Why not? Um, can you teach somebody else? No? Okay. Let me, before I forget again, let me go over to Gyarados real quick, and let me change these around. There you go. That's more like it. Cool. Uh, let me just let me just save as well, just because I thought of it. I don't want my computer crashing and then everything burning. Wait, what? Did I just miss her or something? Wait, where the hell am I? Did I just like skip a floor by accident? <laughs> uh, what floor is this? Oh, this is the second floor. Oh, okay. That's weird. All right. Ma, Ika. So that's that one, and this one, third floor again. Really, third floor leads to the third floor, and it's actually that one. Okay. This one. Well, well, well. What do we got here, Pilgrim? Alright. 
Well, with that, I'm going to put a cut in this video for YouTube. Thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, favorite, all that stuff. Have a wonderful day. And he'll see you next time.